Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Deep, dark depression, excessive misery. Well, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I want to say a big hello to all the new folks joining us. And uh, so, everybody, welcome back, all you outboard enthusiasts. Well, sometimes things don't go the way you think they're going to go, especially when you're dealing with the old salty, salty outboards. So, I started on the 3540 horsepower Johnson. And we started out with the basic fax check. That all looked out good. Before going on, I made sure the engine would start and run. That all worked out good. And then came the lower unit part. Bum, 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 bum. Ah! Um, sometimes you just got to know when to go and stop and move on. Um, that's the case with this 4035 Johnny. I do not have a lower unit um, that will fit it that I know of. Um, now I've got a 50 out there but it's off an old 50 and I've looked it up on uh, the internet and everything I'm seeing there says it will not fit. So um, I brought in another commercial 40, um, which was a 1989, and I'm going to show you what I ran into with that. And so, anyway, let me show you where we're at with those, and we will go on from there. So, stand by. Okay. You look here. So, what I did was I took out the five bolts that hold that lower and the shift rod bolt, and it won't come out. I pried, and if I pry much more, I'm just going to break something. So you can see under there, and I've come to the delusion that uh, that drive shaft is stuck in the power head. So um, I also looked at this lower unit, looked at the other, went back, looked at the schematics. Went over to my parts breakdown. That lower unit right there is the same as the other one I got. So there's no need in the uh, pulling the lower unit through the drive or through the water pump housing and then taking my jig and pull that uh, drive shaft out of there because it ain't going to work for the uh, 94 anyway. That's the conclusion I've come to. So I'm uh, at some point you just got to understand. I don't have the parts, I don't have a lower unit for that one. The one that I did have, I went back and looked at some of my videos and found that I did use that. Uh, I think it was a 95 or 96 lower unit for another motor that I sold. So I do not have a lower unit for this one, so that kind of stops this project right there. Um, I wanted to get that that lower unit off just to look at things, but the parts breakdown showed me all I need to know. Um, it has the 
six blade impeller pump, our impeller and water pump, and I looked it over, it's identical to that one there, so that ain't going to do me no good, so I ain't going to try any more on it. And sometimes you just got to know when to, when to say enough is enough. And I've spent too much time on both of these. I'm going to put them back out there on the rack until I get the right parts for the uh, 94. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back. <laughs> some pool cord for his Johnson. He said you was at it again. He said he saw perfectly good Johnson Avenue outboards of 40 horsepower. He said you had it tore all to pieces, banging on it, beating on it, tearing it up for no good reason at all. I thought I done told you about that. You know how many white belly prickleback sucker face Tommy Cobb I had to catch before I could buy me a 40 horsepower Johnson? Why, I never. I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna sneak around. And if I find you been tearing up perfectly good American made motors, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to fix you, and I'm going to fix you right. All right. Well, I got the uh, 9440 out of here, and uh, going to start on another one. This particular motor I own. Um, bought it off a fella who was leaving town and said, as far as he knows, it ran, but it's been a while. It was indoor kept, but had some damage. J -j 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 so we're going to look at this little guy. Like I said, I own it. Uh, not sure of the year, but it's the earlier version. Of what? Of what? I show you. I show you. Rock door she be. It is this, a Yamaha, I don't even know what it is. 9.9. It is a 9.9. Um, now, something that uh, should jump out at you, kind of, sort of, quick. Look at this chunk missing out of this plastic propeller. And a big chunk missing here. Yeah, the chunks. And then, I could burn some other stuff out. Well, here's your shift and throttle cables. They're junk. 
But I got some more. I got some more. So, what's under the hood? What's under the hood? Nine per nine. It is. Well, looks somewhat clean. Now, I've never seen this choke set up before. I don't know how that works. Um, or fuel pump or whatever. Um, well, here's the fuel pump back here. So it's got the mechanical fuel pump. So this has got to be some kind of quick start, fast start, whatever you want to call it. Um, most of them are a white canister sitting up here that I've seen. In fact, I got another one, a white one of these. But this is an earlier four-stroke. Um, and what's interesting about it is, if you notice, it's got electric start, but no pull start. Yeah. So how does this work? Let's see. No. It don't work like that. What is... Um, how's that work? How's that work? How's that work? Well, it's kind of stuck. Is this a tension or what is that? Oh, what that? Oh, that's the hood latch, I think. Maybe. I don't know. No, it ain't. Or is it? Yeah, well, I don't know. Got buttons and switches everywhere! How does this work? Oh, okay. There's some destructions in here. It's showing down to lift up. I don't know if I just did it or not. Nope. Either that or she just stuck. So we'll have to figure that out. But, uh, yeah. What's hitting there? The bone. Oh, that, that switch is hitting. Does that come up? Yeah. There we go. So, oh, that locks it in, I see. It locks it into the center position. That's what that do, I think. But I can't figure this, this thing out. It, It seems to move a little, but then what? It don't go left or right. No. So it's locked on that pin. figure all that out. It's transom clamps. Well, that one turns a little, but for the most part, frozen. So, as you can see, abused, neglected, rejected. We just spray some grease, use some lubricant all in there, so we will. That's the first thing. First thing we're going to do. Get a little duck butter all in that thing. Every which way we can. That's about it, I think. Then, I guess I'm going to do your standard fact check on it. Uh, and pull them spark candles out of there and see what we got. If we got any spocky. Let me get a hook to a battery and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the candles out. And there's my... Get you lower down a little bit. There's the spark checker right there. And I hooked the starter up. 
So I have to jump it with the pliers. Let me see. I see no spark on the top candle. Now you know why I'm calling these candles, right? Back in the day, I don't know if they still do or not, but years ago with the Coast Guard, I went to a place called Petroplavaska. Petroplavaska. Something like that. Been many, many, many moons. But uh, over in Russia. And uh, I was talking to the fellow over there, and they called these things. I, I found an outboard guy over there, and he was working on some of these older outboards, and he called them candles. Best I could translate, he told me they were called candles. So, so we got the candles out. I don't know. One of you Russian uh, Soviet subscribers could tell me. That's what he said. I thought I saw a spark jump from my spark checker, but not the spark plug. Oh. No sparky. We got no sparky. We got no sparky on either cylinder. So I just think the first thing I'm gonna do is look around at some wires. So let me uh, give this thing a quick scan over to see if I can find some loose wires and such. Be right back. Okay, so I found a white and a black over here cut. I found another white and a black here cut. Kind of tracing it. You can see that goes into this arm. So I'm guessing that was this kill switch here. Um, so I came over here and knowing that that was probably the kill wire, I took off this cover and I unhooked the white wire right there. Okay. Knowing that that is the kill wire on the Yami here. Now, let's see, you can see, we got spark on the bottom, so the bottom got some sparky, and let's see about the top. Something ain't right there. There, that felt better. That felt better. Get this where you can see it a little better, maybe. There, it should be pointing kind of right at you. Eep. Now look right in here to see if we get sparky on the top. We should. If I can figure out how to get the starter to turn over. Sparky top and bottom. <laughs> we got some sparky, so we got kill wire problems. Now, let me show you what I found when I took these here spark candles out. Well, some little bitty cutie 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 little bitty itty bitty little cutie little things. CR6HS by NGK. But here's what I found when I took the bottom one out. See that? Busted all the pieces. Just abuse. Just abuse. Now, you could throw that away, but you know what else you could do with that? You could make a spark checker out of that. Sure can. 
Now, Turn you over there and up here. Now, you know I'm I'm a stickler for outboard abuse. People that do things like that to the outboards just ain't right. But I want to show you something else. You know we have. I mean I find these outboards a lot of times in the dumpster, beside the dumpster. People bring them to me because they don't want to have to pay a metals fee um, to throw them out at the scrap heap. Yes, here on the island, we don't get paid for scrap metal unless it's non-ferrous. We have to pay to get rid of it. So they bring them to me. Some of them are so badly abused. It, it just tears at my emotions so badly. But, you know... It ain't just outboards. Um, I've been known when I take my garbage out to throw in our big dumpster. See, a lot of the island here, we don't have roll cart services and that, or curbside services, because for the most part, we ain't got no curbs. But we have these critters around here that weigh about 2,000 pounds, and a little plastic rolly cart full of dirty diapers, throw it away leftovers, old doggy food and the like they don't stand a chance for a 12, 18, 2,000 pound brown bear if a Kodiak decides it wants in a little row cart there ain't no plastic device you gonna make that's gonna stop it you understand so we have these big dumpsters we have a billion pounds, big green, green, big as big as half a semi truck. So when I go to take my garbage out, a lot of times, you know, I've been known to look around in there, look around, sniff around, and I find all kind of stuff, good stuff, not necessarily real valuable stuff, but usable stuff. And I'm gonna give you an example. Here's what I found the other day in the dumpsters. Now I put the sheaths on them. I, I had the little sheaths. I'll show you that. I put those sheaths on there. I just had them and I probably got them out of a dumpster. Who knows? But but look what they do. I mean look at you know this it, it's <laughs> it's nothing special. It's just a little hatchet. But there's nothing wrong with it. So it's got a little rust. I'll hit that with my wire wheel. And I like having, you know, little hatchets in my bag when I go ashore on some of the islands around here. I carry my little survival bag and I like having these little hatchets. So, you know, they just, I mean, yeah, that's a, probably a, what, a $15 little hatchet there. Rusty. Oh, sorry about that, but my battery died. But anyway, yeah, people throw out, you know, perfectly good tools and stuff just because they get a little bit of rust on them and so forth. And uh, I'm not one of these guys that goes around restoring, you know, tools or whatnot. Um, But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just dirty and a little rusty. So I'll clean them up and put them back to use. Salty this is. She's a salty. So I took out those. That's what held it into this. Whoops. That and the cables and all and the wire go in there, in that slot, like so. See, there's a slot there. Those cables and all and the wire go in there. Take out those four bolts. This comes out. I find most of the time, oh yeah, where's it at? I pried off the rubber grip. I can glue that back on. And uh, that gets you access to all of this and stuff. Um, and then you got this guy. And he's generally the one. First I'm going to clean this up on my wire 
bench wire wheel and then I'll come back. Okay. So you want to heat this up good here. She's a smoking. Alrighty. Woo hoo! You can hear that thing squeaking. It's hot. Get it back out of there before it cools down. Come on, baby. There we go. And you got the back one here. Same deal, but it shouldn't be near as tight. It comes right out. Because it ain't got no salt all over it. Okay. And then, there you go. Alright, hey there. Woo, that's hot. And there they be. So, now, I got to go find a couple of the cables. Okay. Alright. I'll pay attention to how all this mess goes. Yeah, he's got a little pin there. You see look, these little pins right there? Right up under there is a little pin. So, uh, and I'm going to have to take that off to get that out, I believe. Not that way, you don't. Mm. He's all kind of froze, too. There. Oh, yeah. He's a little tight. I want to show you something. Well, I'm going to try to. Maybe I put that in there a little too. Toy! Um, I forgot about this part and I wanted you to see this. On the... Okay. When you put all this back together, there's a nut right there and that's so you can screw this screw down through the end of the plastic part of the handle that may fall out when you take the halves apart so grease it up you can see I got anises everywhere in this thing let's put a little more on here on these put the put the old Everseas everywhere, but this nut right here is has is, is got to be in there. Okay, so don't forget that now I was not able to get new cables for this thing because they no longer make them So I will have to get creative with my broken handles Won't I? Okay, so don't forget that little nut very important So, then this just goes on there. Beep, 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 beep. Then this piece, you can see I cleaned it all up. It was white powder. It goes in there in a slot. There it goes. 
Now, you can get this, oh, spring, where's the spring? Spring's still in, yep, spring's already in there, there's a spring in there. That spring goes right in there. There's a spring, I cleaned it all up too, got never sees all over it. Now you can get that screw in there because of that. Um, that little nut has to be in there. There we go. That's yeah, all. So, yeah. so now we put this piece. I cleaned those threads all up. They were powder white. And that should go there. Then we'll feed those cables into that slot somehow. I'm going to have to make these cables work because they don't sell them no more. I went to two or three good sites I know of. Now you got two sides of bolts here for this cover. The smaller ones go toward the back. And I got anti seize all over them. And the bigger ones go toward the front. They're 10 millimeter. Okay. Okay. So you see the broken cable, and then there's my broken shift cable. But I got an idea on those. I think I can do. I took out that stop switch because it's no good anyway. It's all froze up. I'll probably clean it up, use it for cut melts. But I'm gonna put a different stop switch on that, and I'll put a cap in here. So I'll be back. All right, to tighten these handles, this handle, they have slots there. And you use this part of the uh, outboard. You just put that there, put the screwdriver in the slot, and then push up on the handle. Like a so. That's how you tighten it. Pretty, getting pretty snug. Let's try this guy. There we go. I don't know that I'd want it much tighter than that. All right. Yeah, I can still feel it. I think it go a little bit tighter. There we go. All right, that's how you tighten that handle. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with Cody Bass.